What is going on guys? Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and I am absolutely over the moon. Spurs nil, Arsenal won. Can't ask for much more really. An amazing result. Uh, definitely getting this title challenge back on track now considering that we lost to Stoke the other weekend and now we're here celebrating a victory against Spurs. Away to them at White Hart Lane was never going to be an easy game. But you know what? We've done it. We've defended extremely well. It really was back to the wall stuff in this game. But we saw it through. Excellent defensive work from our centre-backs in Koscielny and Mertzsacker. All round, it wasn't really a great performance. But all that matters is the three points. And considering we were, we were about the likes of Ozil and Walcott, who would have relished uh, this kind of game. And to think we were still without Ramsey, without Wilshere. We were without so many players. Yeah, we've seen it through. We've got the win. And, you know, if this doesn't give us belief, then I don't know what will when we continue this title push. I mean, we've got an incredibly tough game against Chelsea next week. But considering what happened to them the other night, I'm more than confident that we can go there and actually get something from that game. And it all just looks really good at the moment. We're four points behind them with a game in hand. It's, you know, it's all to play for at the moment. I mean, this game, going into it, um, considering the emphatic win that Liverpool had over Man United, it really was a must-win game. And the, the players, they went into, that, into it with that attitude. The game couldn't really have started off much better. A superb goal from Thomas Rosicki. And I think it was actually Spurs that really wanted to hit us early. You could tell that from the way they were playing out the ball to the likes of Townsend and Chadley. But it really backfired on them. It was excellent uh, counter-attacking move from Arsenal. Rosicki playing a little 1-2 with Chamberlain. I think Chamberlain didn't actually mean to do what he did, but either way, laid off to Rosicki. Outstanding finish. He totally meant to do that. Rocketing past the reach. Nothing he could do about it. And it was just a great goal to put us 1-0 up. And you really think we could go on and maybe, you know, even really rattle Spurs. Maybe get another one quite early on. And we could have won the game 3 or 4-0 because... I would say for about five or ten minutes after the goal, we we really did look like we could go and get another one. Chamberlain had an excellent opportunity to put us 2-0 up, and I don't think he had the best of games today. Um, but you know, I'm not going to criticise him too much because I still thought, in many respects, he absolutely ran the midfield battle at times. He was still sublime, but it wasn't his best performance. Uh, he, he certainly wasn't at his peak or his full potential. And he's played about three games in a week for us now, so that really is it shows a lot of character from Chamberlain. And, you know, he wasn't great today, um, but. He's got a week's rest, and I'm sure he's going to have a fantastic game against Chelsea next week. And whilst we're on the subject of the lineup, um, as well as Chamberlain playing Podolski as well, Podolski, I can't begin to tell you how glad I was that he actually got really involved in this game. He was dominating at that left hand side, really giving Carl Norton a tough, uh, tough test and uh, some excellent crosses. He had an opportunity to score. Uh, I was just really glad to see he did really well. And I was a bit disappointed to see him go off in the closing stages of the game, but. Either way, I'm glad that he started, I'm glad that he played, and when he actually does put in a good performance for us, um, Podolski, and when he actually does get involved in the game, he could be a real asset to the team. I want to see him doing that week in, week out. He's just an excellent player to have in the squad at the moment. Anyway, like I said, I thought we'd go on and really score like you know, two, three or four more goals, and like I said, we had opportunities to do that through Chamberlain, through Podolski, but we didn't, and it really went a bit lethargic for Arsenal. We weren't doing an awful lot with the ball. We sat back, we let Tottenham have chances on goal, uh, and you kind of worried a little bit that they were going to score before the end of the half. Thankfully, I didn't do that, though. Ch um, Koscielny and Mertzsacker, so resolute throughout the whole game. Koscielny, with his clearance off the line uh, at, at some stage in the game, absolutely magnificent. He was probably, uh, I think he was man of the match, and he probably deserved that. They had to do so much work today. I thought the fullbacks, they were only, only uh, players I thought were a little shaky in the game. Sanya you know, went in for a couple of last ditch tackles, and at, at times it really did look like he was prone to getting a second yellow and he could have been off the pitch, but thankfully he didn't. Gibbs, you could quite clearly tell that he wasn't at full fitness. He didn't look his best today. I, I know he can play about 10 times better than that. Um, if it were me, if he wasn't fully fit, I'd have played for Marlon because I thought he played extremely well against Bayern. And I, I, I think he merited the start in this game. That's only with the exception, though, if Gibbs was fully fit. And I think Gibbs probably was r rushed back into this because he certainly wasn't at his best today. But um, regarding the performance, it still it wasn't great from Arsenal. Like I was saying, that first half, we did see it out of half-time. We, at times, we were lucky not to concede, but I thought that we did an excellent job defensively. Um, second half, it was kind of more of the same. Tottenham pressing so high up against us. And we could have made some excellent counter-attacking moves. Unfortunately, we didn't do that. And uh, we saw the game out. It was it was really back to the wall stuff at times. Nerve-wracking, squeaky bomb time, in fact. It was that scary. But, you know, I'm just 
over the moon. I'm overwhelmed that we've got the win. It is a massive win. Retrospective how we played, you know, none of that matters. Tottenham kind of went out there with a full strength team. We went out there with so many players injured, but every single one put in a good shift. Whilst I'm on the subject of that though, one man that I really hate to bring in the doom and gloom to, Olivier Giroud. I thought he did absolutely nothing for the whole game. And that really frustrates me because I think he's a quality player and he's just so inconsistent at times. I want to see more from, from him because he's just offering us absolutely nothing up top. And he's got to be bringing us something. He's just not doing that at the moment. Uh, so he's kind of got to get things back on track at the moment. I think he's kind of done nothing the past two games. After having such a splendid performance after coming off the bench against Everton, I really do expect more from him. But, you know, I'm sure he'll put things right. There's a lot going on in his personal life at the moment. So once he gets that out of his head, you know, his head wasn't in the game today. He's got to get it back on track. But like I said, I'm confident he'll do that. Anyway, fantastic win today. Uh, if we win our game in hand, our game against Swansea, we are one point off the leaders. And if we beat Chelsea then we can go top. I mean, this is it's all to play for at the moment, and we can do it. We've got a big game against City coming up as well. Imagine if we're able to beat them as well. I mean, I think we've got to up our game against Chelsea and City, because if we play like we have today, you know, it's going to be incredibly difficult for us. But we did defend extremely well. Uh, as long as we get the wins against Chelsea and City, uh, it's, you know, it's thinking ahead, but I'm really confident we can do it. Of course, we've got a tough game against Everton as well. So, you know, like I said, all to play for. We can do it. Leave your thoughts on the game in the comments box below. If you have enjoyed the video, it would be great if you could click the like button. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV as well as my own channel, AFC Game by Game. Follow me on Twitter at simplycookie underscore. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. And just, you know, just have a party tonight because it's a great evening.